It is a cold one today, boys. I didn't go hunting this morning like I was supposed to. I kind of didn't wake up. I'm really bad at that. But uh, I brought the foiler down here to, oh my gosh, I about fell. I brought the foiler down here to the deer club because riding at the house is all cool and all and I cannot wait to do it. But uh, we got a swamp, a straight swamp back here. So uh, I haven't even looked at it, but we're about to send it. Get the helmet out. Let's throw a GoPro on here and we'll be good to rock and roll, boys. Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Now before we get started, there's a vent line right down here that I need to address. The line for the water pump. You guys might be able to see it right there. A lot of people say you don't need to snorkel it, that you could either A, plug it, or B, snorkel it. And some people I don't think worry about it. I'm gonna try to plug it, just cause we're gonna be in a lot of water, most likely. And uh, I don't know how deep it's gonna get. So I gotta find something to plug it with. All right boys, so I threw the plastics off real quick, just so uh, I can get down to it easier. Here is a stick that should fit up in there. I'm gonna use two hand and try to get it better in there, but uh, I'm just gonna plug it up so no water gets in there. And she should be now good to go, boys. Here we go. Now, uh, I'm probably not gonna take it too deep being it's the first time. This is like the first ride on this thing. I have took it through the swamp a little bit at the house, but uh, other than that, this is the first journey out onto this thing. And literally, <laughs> I bought it yesterday. No, the day before that. I bought it two days ago. And I have not rode, I don't know, 700 yards on it. So uh, here we go, boys. This thing is badass. I'm gonna try not to get too stuck. Hopefully there's nothing too deep, but uh, we're just gonna have to send it. Maybe not full send, we'll send it, but not full send it. How about that? I don't have a change of clothes actually. So uh, let's just hope I don't get too muddy. This swamp back here, we used to ride back here on four wheelers when I was a kid. And uh, this is just water. The, this used to be a big pond. There's the clubhouse. This used to be a big pond. It was a super nice place and then the state made us drain it. So, uh, some water back in here, that's for sure. Hello. Stuff's thick. Wow, look at that. Uh, it sucked to fall down in there, holy crap. Now this mud is thick. I don't think nobody's actually been in here. High chance of getting stuck. This is just like a wetland. It's, it's less of a swamp, it's more of a, like a wetland. But, uh, We'll stay in two-wheel drive for now. Gosh, this stuff's thick. I don't know how deep any of this is. It's kind of sketch, there's a bunch of trees down. So trying to find paths through it that aren't insane, it's gonna be kind of tough. Oh yeah. This stuff is thick. Wow. Let's go ahead and put her in four wheel. I'm scared the whole thing's just going to sink and it's going to be too thick to go anywhere. Oh. Yeah. This stuff is thick as snot. Oh, I can barely stand in it. Here's a little bit of high ground. And this doesn't look too deep or anything, but look at the mud. It is thick, boys. I think I'm going to back out of here. I'm not going to go any further right here just because... I mean, look, oh, I'm sinking. I got diff locks still, so we're not in too much trouble, that's for sure. <laughs> See if there's another point of entry I can come in this thing at. This thing's gonna be so much fun, boys. I don't know why I didn't bring my tripod. I have the tripod in the truck. We might have to throw the tripod on it if we get anything too serious. A little bit of water, no clue how deep it is. Coming over the floorboards. Yep, she's over the floorboards. Good thing these boots are waterproof. There's so many logs, I can't really go nowhere. I could go out right there if I can fit. Exhaust is under, we're spinning. Four wheel. Oh yeah, it sinks fast. No doubt, might not be able to fit through here. Oh yeah, it's about to go over my boots. Yeah, I can't make it through here. There's a big root or something. <laughs> Ow! 
it was getting deep and I couldn't go nowhere so that was kind of like the issue right there it was getting deep and I don't know if the snorkels works 100% I mean it was not up to the seat or nothing but uh definitely sketch being I haven't tested this thing out at all Let's see if we can't get into the back side over here yeah we should be able to play around here in this back side we might have to go get the tripod if we can find some good lines to run through all this stuff but there's so many trees down and I don't really want look at that there's nowhere to go through the water I got to go up out of it I don't want to get stuck the main reason is these boots only go but so high and so getting off I'm gonna get soaked and get ruined my only pair of socks that I have and um, I don't have a change of clothes, so it's like, I can't get too wet. And if I get stuck, I'll get soaked. Man, I hope this isn't, oh, there's a tree. This ain't muddy. If I sink up in here, I'm almost screwed. Ow, that tree had, get the f off me, bro. Yo, how deep is that? That looks deep as shit. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to full send it one day. That's so soft. If we go up there, it won't be a problem. It's not too deep. If I, I can winch out of it, I just, if I have to get off, I'm gonna get screwed. Oh gosh, it's so thick. Everybody, don't be calling me a pansy yet. This is the first ride on this thing. I don't know anything about this four-wheeler, so uh, it's kind of sketch. Please don't hit a drop off. That's a good little run. If I had the tripod back here, that'd be pretty dope. See what we can do out of four wheel. Wait, it's not in four wheel drive, it sinks so quick. These tires, they just dig. These super swampers, they're big lugs and soft stuff, they dig like mad. Oh yeah, two wheel drive's a no go. Maybe at the house where I have something to pull me out. Oh, that dug deep quick. Yes sir. I don't think nobody's played in the swamp in 30 years. Last people to play in the swamp on a foil is probably my dad and his buddies 30 some odd years ago. Uh, gotta remember, I can't get too muddy. I'm in my hunting gear. Let's throw in the diff lock. So this tire wasn't spinning, now it should spin. Oh, there it goes. That's diff lock for you right there. Take it out of diff lock, take it out of four wheel. Is changing it in and out of four wheel drive bad for the system? I feel like sooner or later that could hurt it. <laughs> oh boys. This stuff's insane. Damn swamp boys. This mud that nobody's driven in has to be some of the worst. Sinks up so hard, so fast. now I gotta stay clean if I keep playing like this I'm gonna be soaked in mud let's try to run it up that bank <laughs> ow, my f ow that went all up in my face what the, what the hell Whew. I think this is kind of it for this swamp back here though let's see if we can't get out of here real quick oh yes sir Well, that's a cool little mud hole back there. Oh, this is so, oh my gosh. I gotta get out of here now. All right, we're about to put it in four wheel and hammer down. All this is like just straight, little super lowland swamp. This stuff got, has to be thick. Let's put it in four wheel. Maybe I won't get stuck trying to drive out of here. Guy think she pops a wheelie. Oh, yeah, she pops a wheelie. <laughs> Let me take it out of four wheel and try to do another wheelie. It doesn't have rear brakes though. The rear brakes are out on this thing. That was pathetic. Can we do it one on a flat ground? Little baby one, little baby. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take this thing back home and ride it. If you guys want to see more mud videos back there, leave a comment for sure. Oh. Damn, that thing's badass. All right, boys, we're gonna run back down here. Got the tripod for the camera. There isn't really any deep holes that are I can get to on this four-wheeler. The pond at the house, or the pond, the, the swamp at the house is actually 
quite a bit deeper than this one because we have dug it out on four wheelers terribly. So uh, that should be insane once we get back to the house. Let's go back here and try to get some cool shots. Let's hope I can get back back here again without getting stuck. It's nothing too, too terribly bad. Let's see what we can do here, boys. Oh, that's so sexy. That is so sexy. I got to get a picture of that. Make sure this camera's recording. We're good to go, boys. Like I said, this ain't too deep. But, uh, some spots, the snorkel does go, or not the snorkel, the exhaust does go underwater. Get a little bit of the water wheelie action going. There is a pretty bad stump in there somewhere. I gotta watch out for it if I'm water wheeling. Oh, there it is. Diff lock on. Oh my gosh, I'm so high sided right now. Well, shit boys, we stuck. I came up on that thing so fast I got high sided. Or not high sided, but I bottomed out. Oh, fuck me. Oh, give me my boot, asshole. Now I'm out of a boot. Damn it, this is my only pair of pants. I guess we going with one bare foot for now. Damn it, my foot ripped out of it so fast. Oh, this water's cold. Look at all this mud, yo. My winch is under the mud. There's a bad spot in that lawn. Please don't get bit by a snake. I only have one boot on. Damn, she's buried, boys. Ow! Fuck off, mate! I'm gonna have to pull it up. I have it winched up pretty high. I'm trying to get some up pull instead of down. Please don't break. That's all the winch has. My boot! Look, mud is coming over. You, you guys know how big this four-wheeler is. There's just no bottom to this. Gosh, it's getting worse and worse. What the fuck was that? Why'd she shut off on me? Battery's fucking dead. What? Why would it shut off? Unless it hydro-locked. No, it couldn't have done that. There's no way it's hydro-locked. So I've been sitting in mud, idling in mud. Unless there's water in the air box and it flooded to one side. Bye bye to my hunting clothes. God dang it. It just it just all of a sudden died. Yep, battery's dead. She's toast. How am I gonna get to my camera? God, I just got water all in that boot. I'm shit out of luck right now, boys. I got two pairs of pants on. They're both ruined. Boots have water in them. I don't even know how I'm gonna hunt tonight. I don't have another pair of socks. They're soaked. Wow, that took a turn for the worst real fucking quick, didn't it, boys? We still recording on this thing? Can you guys see the four-wheeler I got stuck? Yeah, barely. We're screwed, boys. The motor's done. Let me go ahead and say that. It's done for the day. Battery's got to be either dead or hydro-locked one because it turns over barely. And it's either because it's hydro-locked or the battery's dead but it shut off that's the scary part with it shutting off like that it should have stayed running even with a weak battery so i don't know i'm gonna go try to grab the other four-wheeler and hope i can get out of here but i'm missing a i'm missing a boot by the way i'm going barefoot i'm, oh, I'm going with one boot oh what the hell have i done i straight swamped that puppy look at all the mud build up that's ridiculous it could get pulled out backwards see i got high sided let me walk up here for you guys i got high sided right there and then it just kept digging trying to dig out you can see all the bud right there i'm gonna have to go get the other four-wheeler it has a winch winch it to that tree if i can get this out i got jumper cables and a battery i really hope it's not locked up time oh this whole walking barefoot thing's gonna suck jumper cables check battery check Clay. hey where's the key to the four-wheeler uh in the truck uh. I need it. You got stuck? 
Uh, yeah, and, but it kind of shut off on me. And I think, I don't know, because the battery went dead whenever it shut off. Oh, there you are. Uh, the battery went dead whenever it shut off. And uh, I was winching it out, and I was about to change it, and the bat it just cut off, and the battery's dead. Alright. Alright, bye. It got high centered. The winch is only as good as the battery. Yeah. I was doing great until, uh, I don't know why it cut turned off though, it kind of like almost bogged down. And then, uh, the battery was, wasn't really turning over the motor. I'm just hoping I don't, it's not trying to hydro lock. But where I was at, I mean, I was running for a solid four minutes out of the water, trying to get it out. Maybe even longer than that. Thank you. Key, check. Let's go rescue the big red Honda. You going? Yep. This thing will get stuck easy, it's only two wheel drive. I don't think I should just park in front of the stomp. That way it doesn't get pulled. I told you that wasn't no submarine. Ow! Oh! Things I do for YouTube's ridiculous. That is ridiculous right there. I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and then we're gonna start to try to pull it. That stump's gonna be in the way though. She started up. Oh. Rut is deep, boys. All right. Dad's getting pulled, not me. Damn it. This rope is just not strong enough. Best way to do is go backwards. She snapped, all right. I'm gonna try to back up out of it and try to get out of that. Cause you see all this in the front. So bottomed out. Look at that. Ha! Ah. Damn camera died. Alright, we're down to the GoPro. Need to get as low as I can. I can't even wipe my face, I got so much mud. I wish my heli camera was working. Came and blog on it now. It's dead at the door now. There we go, boys. All right, boys. Time to climb the sun gun right up out of here. Go. Now that's a hole, boys. This was damn sure eventful you that i wish i could be vlogging on my vlog camera right now i know you guys like the motor vlogs but some things are better to film on the vlog camera but uh she's toast battery's dead covered in mud the lens won't open and close i kind of want to go through the mud again oh well i'm covered in mud all in my hunting gear so this ain't going to be usable tonight i am going hunting so uh, you guys stay tuned for that i guess i'm gonna do the outro here on the gopro since my other camera is dead i hope you guys enjoyed today's video the next one will be a lot killer but uh Definitely the next modding video on this fuller, me and Julius messing around. Woo, it's gonna be fun, and I will catch y'all on the next one.